Hey, 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 and welcome everybody to 60 seconds. Last time I went through the drill of this game. So now, what does continue mean if I already did it? Can't press it, okay. So, still gonna go with classic. We went through one round, which was the drill. So we're not gonna do the drill again, right? We're gonna do the apocalypse. Uh, select the type of topic adventure. Let's go with the apocalypse. I wonder what's different with this one. I'm planning to play all four of these and then we're gonna go on to the challenges. The full atomic experience. Scavenge around your house for supplies and then survive the post-apocalypse in your fallout shelter. Fat man. Normal. Hard. Tar bomba. What? Little boy. Wait. Okay. Fat man. Exploration time 10 seconds. Health issues common. Scavenge time 60 seconds. Fragile uh, average. Stocked shelter some junk. Unwanted visitors some. So what is hard? Exploration time 0 seconds. Health issues call 911. Scavenge time 60 seconds. Like Fragile equipment like glass, stock shelter empty, unwanted visitors hordes, packed suitcase nothing, and trouble every day. Let's go with normal. Uh, uh, so I choose who to play with. Well, we went with Tim. Tim? No. What? What is his name? I can't remember. Anyway, Tim something. No, I, wasn't Timmy the kid or Ted? Ted is the guy. And this is Dolores. Anyway, let's go with Dolores for this one and see what happens. Begin adventure, let's go. Normal mode. Not much of a daredevil, okay. So, 10 seconds to get to know the surrounding, right? Okay, bottle, Can I, I can't pick up anything. Okay, so now I look at where everything is. There's a bottle in there. Oh shit, now I start, now I start, now I start. Go, 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 go. Take the mask. Take the... There you go. She takes it so slow! Shit, I'm... Nope. Um, nope, space already? Okay, let's take little Timmy. Uh, <laughs> the chess board. I'm almost out of time. Where's the people? Uh, water. Wa take it quicker, please. Soup, soup. Soup, soup. Uh, I'm wasting time by. Okay. Why can't I run? This is stressful. I need to get Granny. Drop it. Okay. Thump, 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 thump. Gra uh, uh, not Granny. Uh, 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 the, the woman. I don't know what I'm taking. No. Oh shit! I don't know where the guy is. I don't know if there is a guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beeline for another one. Come, 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 come. Take him! Shit! Dock and cover, survival is overrated. St uh, stay to see the fireworks. I didn't make it! Uh, Astro Citizen. What? I couldn't read that quick enough. The end? One way ticket, die in your Fallout shelter. I died? I got both of them and died trying to get the guy. <laughs> What a fail! Oh shit. <laughs> You're perished! They survived one? Wow, okay. Quickest, qu quickest round of my life? So I'm guessing we're gonna try this again. Okay. Shit. Let's try that again. Uh, <laughs> and that was normal mode, okay. Okay. I was just taking too long. I should first check where everyone is. Let's try the Laura's again, but she was very slow. Okay. So the first 10 seconds is to familiarize myself with what is where and who is where. Because then I do not have time. Uh, no one is in there. So I can't really see. There's a brief suitcase. Uh, no one in there. The guy's right here. I'm going to take you first. I'm going to take the people first. Wait. Uh, go. Run. I can't run. Bottle, I'm wasting time. Take it. There you go. Um, 
Take it. I don't know what's here. Gas mask. I'm already 15 seconds in. This is going so horrible. Okay, I'm not gonna get everyone by the looks of it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna die again. I've got three suitcases. Can I grab to me? No. Shit! 30 seconds. Drop it. Drop it faster. To me! I'm coming! I have no food thus far. Radio. Okay. Can. To the shelter. 15 seconds. Uh, water. Water. Take it. Super, 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 super. I'm not. I'm sorry, guy. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Uh, this is going to be. Okay. Let's take the axe. <laughs> I forgot the guy. Home sweet home. Girl power. Shit. I forgot the guy. I didn't, don't know if I got soup. Soup. Super. Wait, what? I forgot the girl! I got so many achievements. Don't forget to stock your shelter. I, I got lots of water. Some soup. Radio. The group briefcase. The axe. The gas mask. The key. I forgot the freaking girl. Okay. Well, this was way harder. Anyway, at least we get to play. Almost all of us made it to the shelter. Almost. All we can do now is start thinking or create of creative ways to serve our canned soup. When we opened the shelter door, we noticed some of the shelves were already stocked. We can't really say we recall putting all of those supplies there. But we're definitely going to put them to good use. I don't remember taking a gun. Day one. Hey, look what we found in the suitcase. We grabbed upstairs. Good thing we didn't unpack our holiday luggage. What is that? Okay. What is that? We don't have that much food. No one's complaining yet. But even canned soup might become a extravagant dish quite soon. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. Time to ration supplies what's left. Shame she's dead or gone or whatever. We really missed the life we had, the space, the sky, the food, more food. We wish we could go back to time before this damn bomb drop. Shit. Well, okay. Let's see how many days I can survive or how many days I should survive. Day two. Living in the past is not wise in our current situation. We need to think of today and tomorrow. Timmy is on his best behavior. How long will it last? Today was relatively calm for Dolores. Ted is fine. Time to ration supplies. Everyone is fine. Day, second day. You know what? Everyone's gonna get first, th first <laughs> thirsty. It's like the, it looks like the area is still ir irradiated. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe, unless you don't mind getting sick. Ted is vigorous enough to withstand the hazard of the wasteland. Dolores is in pretty good shape. Timmy can do it. Timmy can go to the wasteland. Should we start preparing an expedition for tomorrow? Yes! Shame. Poor you. Let's go with him. Okay. We found some weird mushrooms growing uh, on one of the walls. Food shortage is no laughing matter. So maybe it should, it would be a good idea to grab a mushroom bite or two. What's the worst thing that can happen? No, don't eat the mushrooms. Never trust a mushroom. Day three, this is going quick. We may be, uh, may be hungry, but there are just some things we will never eat. Wall fungus is one of them. Timmy is good. Well, at least he was five minutes ago. If there was anything to report about Dolores, this is where it would have been written. Ted is not complaining today, at least not very much. Three days without eating. Easy. This is a good day to go outside. Stretch, stretch a bit. Get some fresh toxic, toxic air. Excuse me, maybe scavenge a thing or two. We sure could use some extra supplies. That's if we want to survive. What to take outside? Dolores, let's go. No. Wait, it's toxic outside. 
There you go. Day four. Just a men. Nothing new to report on Timmy. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe. And sound equipment. This 10 o'clock complaining today at least. Not very, very much. Okay. None of you are eating anything. There are only so many things you can do in the tiny bunker. So we thought, hey, why not play some games? They're not just for kids, you know. Cool. Wow. This is actually going so fast. Prepper. So our five days in your fallout shelter. Let's go. We, we played I Spy and it was pretty fun for the first three minutes. <laughs> After that, everyone got bored of the letter W. Okay. Timmy doesn't need much, but he should drink all Ted wishes for us a few drops of water. Fine. What's that sound? A galloping horse? We rushed to the door and were greeted by two men dressed like they come from a medieval fair. We identified the source of the sound. Uh, one... Wait, what? Of the sound. One of them was holding two rocks and hitting them against each other constantly. While the other was skipping and pretending to be a rider. They said they're looking for some antique cup, but they got lost and they would be most grateful if we would let them check our map. Provide, provided we have one. So I should take a map then. Next day, Dolores should be back. Oh, shit. They should be hungry now. We couldn't contain our laughter and our guests took offense. They ran off shouting that our ancestors were rodents and smelled like forest fruits. How rude. Despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble we are going through. Timmy is being very brave. Ted is not complaining. Today at least not for very much. Time to ration supplies. Let's half that. This is terrible. We can't sleep. We've been having problems with sleeping ever since we've got down here. But now it's worse than ever. If we don't deal with this problem, we won't be able to cope with any other challenges that await us outside this thin shelter doors. Well, boo-hoo! You can't go outside, otherwise you'll die. How is the Norse not back yet? They drew a figurine. Uh, Boy Scout. It takes a few days to recover from malnutrition. How, uh, are they still eating that? Can't I open that? Anything to click? Gun? Briefcase? Okay. Can I drag it? Okay, whatever. I think I switched it on. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we try to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No luck. We're even more tired than we were. And there are other problems we will need to face soon. Let's just hope our yawning will be enough to scare raiders away or save us from radiation sickness. Timmy seems okay as much as he can be in our current situation. Ted is really tired. There's not a button for you to sleep. And you're fine. We need to wait for more supplies. What's that trickling sound? And why is the wall so wet? Are we about to get flooded? We don't have life preserves. Or a boat. A boat wouldn't even fit inside the shelter. We need to do something. Save the supplies! Oh shit! We're about to get drunk. Save the supplies. We don't have a map, so we only have that. What? Eight days already? Oh shit. It actually flooded. <sighs> a pair of strangers, probably bandits, searched the remains of our house above. We have heard them talking. One of them mentioned they captured a woman whose description matched the Lord's. No! We don't think they will let her go. The radio was rescued first, but before any of that faulty liquid got into its case. It wasn't long before most of the water disappeared, but the damage it's done, uh, it had done was enough to upset us. Cleaning and fixing this mess will take us days and... What's that smell? We can't leave. Timmy without water for too long. Ted needs water to survive. So they need water. Oh my god! We lost Dolores! Okay, there you go guys. This is going terribly. Uh, 
Oh, shit. There's no way he can, uh, we can send Ted out there uh, in his current state. Timmy is in good health and full of optimism. Timmy the savior? Timmy? It's been a while. We don't know about uh, the, the surface. Thing or two. The guy really looks dreadful. Day nine! Timmy, your time to go. Please don't get caught. They say ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clue what's going on, not... Uh, on might not necessarily kill us. Tim is on his best behavior. How long will it last? Ted has rested. Time to ration supplies. You know what? A uh, little bit of water. Not for you. A little bit of soup. Not for you. Because he's going to go out now. It's about time we chose someone to scavenge the remains of our town in search of supplies. Who will it be? The waste and the weight. Timmy, you came back last time. I should have given the, you know what, axe. Let's go. Not a gun, he'll shoot himself. All right. Lost for 10 days in a fallout shelter. Let's go. Timmy went out with the wasteland. We don't know what uh, we will do. Does he come back? Equipment. Ted says there's not, no need to worry about him. He's okay. Wow, the days are going to go quick now. It's difficult to keep our spirits up in this situation with the optimist. Uh, does it stay the same thing over and over again? Mess will be over soon or else we might end up in a place where place much worse than the Scoji shelter. I think it says the same thing over and over, right? Okay, Ted. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in is far from normal and we might never get used to it. We hope the help comes soon. All Ted wishes for is a few drops of water. So basically, we're waiting for the government to come and rescue us. I see. A few drops of water. Fine, you can have a little drop of water. We've been hearing strange noises lately. It's coming from the outside or is it something that came into the shelter with us? Could it be? We found nothing. We feel like we might, might be going crazy. We should probably get busy with something to keep us occupied before this gets worse. There wasn't an option. Why do I hear snoring? We made it to day 12. Boredom can really get you in the shelter. It can lead you to dark places. Trust us. Ted seems to be doing all right. Even though the world has gone to a crappy place. Time to ration supplies. You're fine. Wow, the days are going so quick. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety. Instead of getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible in this situation, our hope is that our brave soldier will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. Timmy had comics about those, so you know they must exist. All we need to do is make in contact with the military. Okay, I almost didn't click on it. Nothing. Timmy's not back yet. We made contact. The military is out there and they're coming for us. All we need to do now is pay wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice was very specific about this. Help is on the way. Something about two knocks, I'm guessing. Uh, we just need to wait for further instruction to keep our radio in working order. No new problems are troubling Ted this morning. <clears throat> this fine morning. If nothing's troubling him, let's just move on. There's never a good time to go out into the radioactive wasteland, but it seems this will become a necessity. In this new world of ours, we thought it would be a good idea to make this happen sooner rather than later and plan a trip outside before we could make the third step beyond the shelter doors. An unknown creature started growling at us in the darkness. We had only moments to decide what to do. Shotgun! What? We shot something! Where is it? I don't see a head. A quick shot with the rifle was more than enough to scare away or maybe bring down whatever creature stalked in the darkness. We never saw it again. Ted is hungry! All Ted wishes for is a few drops of water. Okay. <sighs> we heard something about supply drops on the radio. This might be what we need to survive and it's supposed to happen near our house. Shall we go out and find out if it's really happening, 
I don't have a gas mask because Timmy is not back yet. Something's happening. Timmy! He survived and he's unscathed. What is this? Uh, did you find the harmonica? And that's all? It was dangerous. To, uh, it was too dangerous to go out there without any protection. So we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio. The static, uh, static is so relaxing. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. We spotted an untouched store with many products inside, even food different than tomato soup. A real treat in these post-apocalyptic times. When we were about to reach it, a terrible noise made us stop in our tracks. Something heavy fell straight from the sky, crashing into the store and destroying it completely. After the dust settled, we realized we were looking at a spaceship. Just like in Timmy's comics. Could it be saucer men from Mars? Then why does it bear American flag on the side and the logo of something called Astro Citizen? Could it be infiltration? Crafty little alien buggers. What? We were tempted to take a bunch of jewelry that was rolling around the, the, the debris. But what would we do with it? Instead, we adopted some things that survive thanks to being stuck in an empty space helmet and a, a harmonica. Timmy is very hungry. Timmy is really tired. There's nothing going on with Ted. Nothing new anyway. Damn it! You had one job. Let's just give him water as well. Okay. Uh, we didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb dropped. Yet here we are, we can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone booth on the other side of the street. Should someone go after it? Yes. <clears throat> we can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public telephone. Should someone go and answer it? Tell me you've done enough tape. Go out. You look bored in any case. Day 16, holy shit. Oh, he's got a beard. Ted's got a beard. It's just way too, too dangerous to just randomly run to a ringing phone in the middle of a radioactive ghost town. Oh, right. Dolores took the mask and died. Sh uh, shit. Uh, we're not taking any chances. It took a while before the ringing stopped. It was pretty annoying for, our, for all of us. Timmy should eat something. This morning has been calm enough for Ted and he's doing well. I'm gonna see what happens to skip Timmy. Even though he's hungry. The state of the wasteland remains unknown to us. Maybe we should risk it and go out. After all, you uh, you only live once. <laughs> this is the wrong time to, to YOLO, but okay. Should we stop preparing? Yes. We stumbled upon the remains of a bandit shanty town. Someone or something tore it down. Incidentally, amidst the rubble, we found a cat licking its paws nonchalantly surrounded by blood and dismembered limbs. As we made our way back to the shelter, the cat followed. We can now hear its paws impatiently scratching our catch. Should we let it inside? Let's let a ki uh, kitten inside. Find a new companion. The cat is there. Look. Hey, cat. Day 17. We, when we opened the hatch, the cat jumped in the, m and, and marched around the whole shelter, sniffing all of us. Every wall, corner, empty soup can and piece of furniture. Finally, it picked a quiet place, sat down and let out a deep sigh before taking a 12 hour nap. Damn. Its color has Sharikov etched into it. What kind of name is that? It's better than Dolores. Timmy should eat something. Ted is really thirsty. Who's going out again? It's Ted, right? Ted is going out. Did I... No, I should still choose. Okay. Um, okay, I think you're thirsty. And you're hungry. Okay, enough sitting around. It's time to visit the surface and look for some additional supplies. Maybe something survived the blast. Maybe someone is still alive. Let's find out. Clearly, you're the one going. Briefcase. 
Wait, he will die. Let's... I don't know what the lock is for, though. What is that for? Let's go with the shotgun. I've, I'm, I'm scared the cat will actually eat the soup. The cat! Oh, I was about to say he's gone. He's literally... His eyes is darting at the soup. While playing in the shelter, Sharikov stumbled upon a small wooden box that was hidden behind some loose bricks. It contained some useless memorabilia and a can of old bug spray. Nice cat, nice. Timmy has been talking about nothing other than water. He should drink some. Ted left for the surface. We'll hope he'll be back soon. Cool. Man. Okay. Uh, clearly you're thirsty. We keep dreaming about those little things we did back in the day when there weren't as many bombs falling down. Not on our heads anyway. I want cake. Shit, but now we're getting uh, getting to the last few days. He's getting closer to the soup! He's gonna eat it! Who knows, maybe the new world will offer new opportunities and it won't be that bad. Timmy is on his best behavior how long will it last he will eat it so you know what i will feed you the one little soup and i'll feed you a bit of water open in the same open in the name of freedom came a shout from outside the door we weren't sure who claimed to be re representing freedom but we could could hear it was a group of people probably armed anyone who introduces himself like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom should be open no. I'll stick with Mr. Kitten. Sharikov. Is this 20 days? Survivalist. Stay in your shelter. Fallout shelter for 20 days. He didn't eat the soup. So this should be fine. Timmy looks better. We stayed silent until the group on the other side of the door went away. They didn't show up afterwards. So we figured it was the wise thing to do. Let's just hope they don't come back in in greater numbers. Timmy has a bracelet. That's why he looks like he's like fresh. Timmy got back to the shelter uh, from his expedition and looked fine but it turned out he had hurt his hand on a piece of rusty metal and the wound was infected. It doesn't look like it's healing up. We have to patch it. <laughs> we can't cut it off. Are we gonna cut off uh, Timmy's hand? Wasn't it Ted who we sent? You know what? He's gonna get in. <laughs> I say, off with his arm! Oh shit, did he. Did I. Oh, I didn't kill the cat. So what did I. I what. Oh. He's not back yet? Timmy was very brave about the idea of cleaning up his wound with a heated axe blade. Oh, okay. Jeez. Where did he find the heat for that though? There's no lighter. It was a bit painful, but it was soon over. The axe is in no shape to be used again, but Timmy seems much better. No news is good news. There's nothing new going on with Timmy. Sherikov sure can take care of itself, but we can't help but wonder how much of a self-made cat it is. It just so happens that we found a, an address on its collar. It's unlikely that its owner is still alive and a trip to the wasteland is always risky. Should we go outside and check that address? But then no one's in the shelter, so no. I wouldn't. Would you guys? Comment down below. Day 22, some radio signaling. Is that the, did the cat drink the water? Is that the water? This cat belongs to us now. It's our new dear friend and a valuable addition to our bunker. We managed to use it as a pillow for a, for a whole 10 seconds yesterday before it almost scratched our eyes out. Doesn't look scratched out, buddy. It's almost scr uh, Clearly, it's very fond of us. It's staying and that's final. Timmy has been talking about nothing other than, wa than water. He should drink some. I can give you some water. Shine your boots and hoist the flag! The army is on the radio again! They're telling us to get our flashlights ready to signal their aircraft. It'll be flying over our area later this evening. If they see our light, they'll know where to look for us. 
Hold up. What day are we going to now? Day 24? 23. Holy shit. He's back! With... With what? Water! He found water! And there's the airplane? Nice! Jeez, how long is this gonna go? The signal has to wait. Besides, do do they even know how much flatlight batteries cost? What do you mean cost? We're in the bunker. How long they last? Especially in this economy, especially after it was wiped out, Ted has safely returned from its voyage from his voyage to the surface. It might sound paranoid, but we think someone followed us. Let's just hope this doesn't happen again. We decided to finally check what we can find between the rubble in our own backyard. Our poor, poor lawns and flowers, once the object of desire of the whole neighborhood, now reduced to nothing more than radioactive ashes, covered by debris. The, gar the garage still has two walls left, but most things inside are gone. Not even the bicycles made it through the blast, but weirdly enough, the baskets installed on top of them did we found some leftover supplies there from our last trip bicycle trip two warriors let's go timmy seems okay as much as he can be in our current situation ted looks very weak if he doesn't eat today it might end really badly ted is really tired shit actually give him some water as well we played a game of uh, of list the things you hate the most and our neighbor's name kept coming up for some reason. That reminded us that the little weasel had a safe in his living room. We always wondered what's inside. Maybe now's the time to finally find out. But who will do the honors of stealing the possessions of our arch nemesis? He's fine, so I'll send him. Jeez, this game, this, this thing is just going on. We're just like staying in the bunker. It's almost been a month. There's the axe. I thought it can't be used again. <gasps> What happened to, to me? When we opened the safe, we heard a loud bang in the, and the room uh, with thick, nasty smoke that smelled of rotten eggs. The bastard booby trapped the safe. Sure, it slowed us down, but it didn't stop us from taking the most prized possessions. Take that, Ned! Too bad we won't ever get the stench off of our clothes now. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is... Safe with us. Timmy felt sick. Ted is hungry. Ooh, I don't have soup. Did the cat eat it? Can I heal you? Wait, what? Let's give him some water. Let's give you some water as well. It seems awfully quiet outside. Maybe it's safe. Maybe it's not. We don't know until we go out. Let's send. We don't have food. Are the walls closing in on us? Is the space getting smaller with every passing minute? We need to get out of here now. Open the door. Open the damn door. No. Don't know who that was. But it's not the military. 25 days. Keeping the door closed was the right thing to do, but the tensions are rising in our little, tiny little shelter. No news is good news. There's nothing uh, new going on with Timmy. Ted's stomach is rumbling. So, shit. So, I don't have any soup left. He is like, what? He's hungry and he is sick. I'll just give you both water at this point. Some of us are... Uh, Keener to go outside than others. Either way, it's time to choose the most able and responsible person for the quest to grow. Okay. Bug spray? Let's do it. Let's send him out with bug spray. I don't know if this is the best choice. But I don't have food to feed him. Eat, <laughs> Eat the cat! Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we will do if he doesn't come back. Equipment. Ted's stomach is still rumbling. Time to ration supplies. I'll just keep giving him water at this point. We've been hearing some soft, scratchy noises in the shelter at night. We thought it was just the wind, but we were wrong. It's the cat! It's not really doing anything naughty. It seems like it's just sque squeezes through some holes in the walls and make it uh, 
makes it way outside. We're not sure where it get, uh, goes during these secret trips. But every morning it's back in the shelter like nothing happened. Should we follow it next time uh, it sneaks out? Yes. Why not? Now there's going to be nothing. No one. Oh, the cat is gone. Woo! We lost the cat. Sherikov took us to an old junkyard that's in inhabited only by a lone resident. A self-proclaimed scientist living in an old bus converted into a lab to conduct his experiments. The doc seemed happy to have his pet back. Ah, oh, we lost the cat. Although the cat showed no enthusiasm at the prospect, we exchanged some small talk. But truth be told, we were kind of in a hurry to get out of there. The scientist didn't seem completely sane. He mentioned something about escaping the wasteland in a, time, a spaceship. Dead something is rumbling. Okay. I'm just giving you water. I'm surviving. What's that sound? Oh no, something or someone is below us. It's only reasonable to go and check it out. How about using that manhole in the corner? Let's take an axe. What's happening? What, what, what's going to happen? <gasps> That's a dog. This guy is fading quickly. There's a mask again. Whatever lived down there making all that noise probably fled when we jumped down, waving our axe around and shouting, Warrior Chance! Our warrior chance sounded like jingles from radio ads, but that probably made them even more terrifying. The only thing left in the secret, in the script room was a gas mask. Oh, that's how we got it. It smells a bit funny, but it, uh, but it works. Ted is hungry. Yes, I know. We're waiting for Timmy. We wouldn't, uh, wouldn't it be fantastic if we could just get out and leave, walk the surface like we used to, smell the fumes of pollution, and that's the scent of freedom we must We've been in the bunker for 28 days! Holy shit! Hey, he's back! And he brought some holy shit to me! Holy crap! Look at that! Soup for days, baby! We can take care of ourselves. When we woke up today, we discovered that Sharikov somehow found its way back to the shelter. Oh my god, I didn't even see the cat! We're not sure what exactly transpired between the little guy and its owner. We asked, but it wouldn't tell. No shit. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. And he brought the bug spray back. We believe that our expedition to the wasteland must have been followed by strangers. We should be more cautious next time. Atomic wastelands are hostile by definition. He's still sick though. But there are some creatures that survive everything you throw at them. Even nuclear bombs. One of them was a monkey who seemed like it's been through a lot, and yet it was very lively and more than happy to accompany us on our expedition. While we explored one of the streets, our monkey companion ran away, only to come back moments later carrying a can of food. It couldn't open it himself, but I but it was happy to share it with us. At one point during our expedition, the monkey started making weird sounds and digging in front of us with a stick. A quick investigation revealed a few. Bottles of water. No one even tried to open them. The same couldn't be said about those bo uh, bottles of booze lying next to them. We got alcohol? At one point during our expedition, we were ambushed by a pack of mutated cockroaches. We managed to scare them away with bug spray. In their nest, we found a supply of soup. HA! The bug spray actually got us the dub. <laughs> Timmy is very hungry, pretty fatigued, really tired. Ted looks like very weak. If he doesn't eat today, it might re uh, end really badly. Everyone gets food! Hallelujah, we're saved. MVP Timmy. We had some phone calls. Uh, wait, what? We had thought phone calls were a thing of the past after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in our little town. However, a phone booth on our street survived the bombing somehow. It seems it's ringing right now. We should send someone to answer it. Um, he is sick. He was hungry. No, I'm not sending anyone. Not again. I'm not doing that. I'm not taking that chance. Day 30! The cat is still with us. We've got food. We've got water. Let's go. 
It's just way too dangerous to just randomly run to a ringing phone. That's what I said, annoying all of us. Tim is very hungry. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted is pretty fatigued. I already fed everyone. Uh, I'm not gonna give you water just now. We're, uh, are, we, are we gonna go out again? Yes. If Timmy goes out right now, he might die. There is no condition to go out. So we'll skip it. Traitor alert! Timmy's salvaged comic books are mostly harmless science fiction pulp. However, some of them don't feature the brave Astro Citizen program, astronauts, but cosmonauts. That boy is eating up Soviet, Soviet propaganda. What a disgrace! Should we banish Timmy to the wasteland for his treacherous ways and dispose of the blasphemous comics. What? He's the one who saved us, you jackass! No! Okay, so what's next? Dude, Timmy saved us. Why do you want to kick him? We graciously allowed Timmy to stay in the shelter despite his actions. The people are going nuts, but I mean it's been a month. We believe in the power of rehabilitation and second chances. Also, we're running out of toilet paper and these propaganda books will do nicely. Timmy is very hungry. Ted is very hungry. Eat up, boys. Eat up. Can't believe the Loras died so quickly. Uh, screw it. Go outside. Let's see what happens. Curiosity almost killed the cat. Cherico found a tiny wire sticking out from the ceiling and pulled it out. Plotter and debris fell on our table. Topped off with a big meowing furball. What is this thing anyway? Nobody remembers it being there before. The cat might get angry if we take away the wire. So maybe it's best to leave it be. Or should we examine the wire? Examine it! Uh, geez, he does look bad. And there's no meds. So... In my next playthrough, I'm definitely uh, grabbing meds. We followed the wire outside and found a half burnt out truck with two surprised gentlemen inside, surrounded by an array of blinking bulbs. That's some space tech, right? There! Were they listening in on us uh, in our own very shelter? Their feeble excuse about a roadside picnic didn't convince us. Even Timmy knows you can't have picnics here, and the car had no wheels. Timmy doesn't need much, but he should drink. Ted is hungry. If Ted doesn't drink anything, he won't last long. Ooh, it's coming to an end, guys. It's coming to an end. Some of us are keener to go outside uh, than others. Other way, it's time to choose no one. No one is keen. I'm guessing this is just gonna uh, play out to the point of like, no one goes out, no one is fine, I should just keep feeding them. Nothing new to report on Timmy and Ted is fine. I'm, you know what, do this and now I'll send someone out. The agents who were spying on us are now at the door and want to explain themselves. Should we hear them out? Agents. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what will happen with the agents. I'm curious to see what will happen with the agents. Let's go. I mean, it's been 34 days. I don't see anything different. They briefly waved some sort of ID cards in front of our faces and told us they're on a top secret government mission. The wiretap wasn't to spy on us, but rather on the cat. It's suspected of being a Soviet agent. They are willing to let us into their super top secret government safe house if we help them with some of their top secret missions. They assured us that they contact us again with more details. Timmy is looking very pale. That's not good. There's nothing going on with it. Um, shit. The water is used up. Eat something. This is a good day to go outside. No one can go outside. Okay, so we're getting coming to the end of this. So you know what? Whatever happens, uh, I'm just gonna like open the door up for anyone to come in. The cat is still there. Yes. Timmy is good. Well, at least he was five minutes ago. Ted has rested. Nice. Okay. 
Day 35. Tekken, go out, let's go. Play a game, they said. It will be fun, they said. They never mentioned picking one uh, would be so much trouble. Jeez. Day 36, guys. Oh, this guy, they're all looking terrible. We played Trails of Dare when it turned out we we only kept asking questions and the most common co common was are we going to eat anything besides tomato soup? We decided that uh, that's enough games for now. Some water for Timmy would be nice. Timmy has raised it. Ted needs water to survive. I can't give you guys anything. But you know what? You're going out. So you know what? I'll give you all soup. It's coming to an end guys, it's coming to an end. Let's take something different. Boy Scout. Give him a book. Let's see what happens. I mean we're 36 days in. I'm just looking at the time because load shedding is uh, starting at 8. Ooh. It's knocking at the door but I don't know if it's twice. Timmy is in terrible shape, we need to give him water now. Ted led for the surface, we hope he'll be back equal. Time to ration supplies. Just eat. At this point, just eat. A woman came by with a creature she claims is a camel. Provided that camels have five legs, the animal is carrying a pack of goods for trade. Can we trade the radio? Offers four waters in exchange for one radio. Damn. He needs water. There goes the radio, I guess. Day 38, guys. Holy shit! We exchanged goods with the, uh, uh, with the trader and she went her way. Before she left, she insisted that we should listen to radio broadcasts. If we ever want to get out of that shelter and find a safer place to be. Timmy is in terrible shape uh, water now. Timmy is not a fan of syringes, but he needs a big one. The sooner the better. Well, I don't have any of that. Timmy, drink up, buddy. We never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still haven't. We still haven't, but we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. The good news is they're probably scared of any rats in the area. The bad news is they are huge and will probably attack us when they get a chance. Bug spray! Jeez! We're almost at day 40! Holy shit, how long can this go on? Like, what? Okay. That was close, a nest of those glowing bugs might have been more than enough to drive us out into the wasteland. Roaches are the worst, but radioactive roaches, yikes! Timmy is not Timmy is not a fan of syringes, but okay, he needs one, I know. You just drink up, buddy. I'm gonna give you some soup. The cat's been staring intently at our supplies all day. Its, it's eyes are piercing. You can practically feel the tension rising in our shelter, as well as the tense of, tense of danger. This must be our cats communicate that it's time to eat. Should we share some of the supplies with our furry friend? No sharing to the cat? Will the cat die? Stay alive in your fallout shelter for 40 days! Holy crap! Holy crap! When we didn't give it its share of soup, Sherikov let its rage be known by, sh by knocking over a water bottle which didn't survive the ferocious attack. No, you cat! Well, that's what you get for not sharing. Timmy is not a fan of syringes. Yes, yes, yes. I'll give him some water. We always thought life could be much better. That was before we we got nuked. Now we think life could be much better. Could be much better. In a way, not that much has changed. Someone's knocking. Um... Uh, what? What we make of today will be our tomorrow, so let's make it right. Timmy is not a fan of syringes. Yes, yes, yes. Time to ration supplies. He's probably gonna die soon. A group of doctors knocked on our door today representing some supplies that would be helpful in refilling. Their first eight kids. Oh, refilling the first eight kids. We didn't doubt they were the real deal for a second. They did have lab coats. And everything. Shall we help them? He needs some medical supplies. If we do get medical supplies, he's back. Oh shit, Timmy is gone! No! 
Did he die? To me, it was very sick, and there was nothing we could uh, could have done to make it better. He understood it, and probably decided he's better off far away from his from such irresponsible parents. He left irresponsible parents. What? He left and never came back. He's oh, he didn't die. Just leave, left, leave. We asked them what? We asked them for their doctor licenses, but all of them claimed they left them in another pair of trousers. We didn't dare ask if it was just the one pair. We gave them a water bottle and wished them a good journey. And better luck with trousers. Minus one. And we didn't get the SWAT! Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. It might it might sound paranoid, but we think someone followed us. Let's just hope this doesn't happen again. Government is dropping supplies for survivors in the area. They are marked by smoke flares and can easily be seen, but most of them are barely reachable. Despite that, a lot of them were already ransacked by scavengers. How did they do that? One of the food drops broke in mid-air and now it's raining soup. Lucky for us, luckily for us, a few can survive the fall. Our neighbors... Our neighbors from another shelter gave us a radio. They said they found it in one of the dropped crates, but but they already had a, a working radio. Ted looks very weak. If he doesn't eat today, it might end really badly. Ted has gone crazy. Ted is really tired. Oh, sh <laughs> he's gone crazy. Dude. Using a high-tech setup involving paper cups and yards of string, the agents rang on with our next top secret mission that will surely land us in the VIP bunker very soon. They want us to go on one successful expedition and write down what we saw in the journal. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? If we send him, what will happen? Oh shit, he has gone crazy. <laughs> He's back, and we skipped so many- Oh, shh. He's got a hand puppet. He's almost broken. He is the sole survivor, guys. Day 45. We graciously agreed to fulfill their request. They thanked us for doing our civic duty and promised that they would be back with more information soon. That recognition was risky business. We had to visit neighbors that were- uh, that were dicey even in the best of times the area was full of mutated cats and dogs fighting each other in gangs all of them armed to the teeth we barely made it out of there alive but the agents seem to appreciate our efforts let's hope these missions are actually worth it our pocket is just about due for an upgrade and we're expecting the government shelter to have an excellent bathroom maybe even a hot tub Ted looks very weak if he doesn't eat today it might really be bad Let's give him some food. We've heard some commotion above and we're pretty sure it's a band of raiders. Venturing outside might be uh, quite dangerous right now. So no. We were able to catch the military broadcast again. This time they are asking us to get out with a flashlight and signal to their plane after it gets dark. If all goes well, they'll be able to find us. Sounds like we'll be leaving soon. I don't think I grabbed the flashlight though. Shit. Next day, day 47. Oh my god, he's turning into the Hulk. Jesus, this guy is green from sickness. That suit doesn't lo look sanitary anymore. I think we're coming close to the end of the survival game. Day 46. The signal has to wait. Besides, do they even know how much flashlight batteries cost? It's the same thing of especially everything is wiped over. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted got sick. Do I have food? I do. Let's just feed him. We have to survive, guys. We've heard some commotion above, and we're pretty sure it's a uh, bandits raid thing. Okay, should we start preparing? Nope. The trash can is becoming full of empty soup cans, and that unmentionable bucket is overflowing. Both of them are attracting strangely glowing, suspiciously big insect wildlife. Roaches weren't that big before the, the war, were they? I don't know what to do with this though. So, Boy Scout, let's read what's happening. Now it's day 47 and the cat is still there. Timmy is not there. 
Don't know what happened to Timmy. That was close. A nest of those glowing bugs might have been more than enough to drive us out into the wasteland. Roaches are the worst, but radioactive roaches, yikes! Ted's stomach is rumbling. I just fed him! We're almost certain that these bandits are around. Running into them would be a big mistake. I can't send them out. Is he the last one left? If Sharikov considers our shelter its home now, we we might as well try to get along. We could try to carry it around and pet it on the head. All cats like a good pet and Sharikov should hopefully be no exception. Otherwise, any attempt to touch the cat can lead to our untimely death should we try to, to play with him. I love cats. I'm a I'm a uh, I'm a cat per I'm a dog person, but I'm an animal person. So yes, if it kills us, it kills us. We've survived for 47 days. Let's see what happens. Please don't bite us. Well, he's further away. This wasn't our best idea, but at least it didn't end in a complete disaster. While chasing the cat around the shelter, we found a forgotten soup can stuck behind the shelf. So Score! Dude, stomach is rubbling. Yes, I'm feeding you. Whoa. It's almost like we get to a point where we're almost done and then suddenly nothing. Is this guy the only one left though? We always thought life could be much better. Uh, nothing has changed. Jeez, we're skipping through the days? At what point does this game end? He's still hungry, I'm guessing. So basically, I'm just going through the motion of feeding him. Thirsty. Fond memories are one thing, but we need to uh, be ready for harsh reality that awaits us. I'm just gonna keep feeding him. I think Timmy is just gone. The raider camp on our street has been especially maddening lately. They're acting like they really, they're uh, like real savages. We won't stand for that. Somebody should show them that the innocent survivors of the wasteland aren't just miserable victims, and that someone should do should be what and that someone should be us oh i see are we gonna go fight them i hope i have enough bullets let's fight them <laughs> modern warfare <laughs> that's a knock we won the battle these bandits were no match for us we quickly overpowered them and forced them out of the camp we are quite ex exhausted but it was definitely worth it we hope they won't bother us for a while there was a knock on the door though time to ration supplies don't have much water left at the moment i'm just like clicking uh, cl clearly we're, uh, we're trustworthy after our last successful mission as the agents came came back with another request. We are to generously provide either a, a couple of soup cans uh, or some water bottles for an agent in the field. They'll take care of the, uh, the delivery and in return will be given an encouraging pat on the back and the promise of a better future in the safe government shelter. Screw you! And I can't choose any of those in any case. Freeloaders. Day 51. How did it end up with us and a cat at this point? Like, we're not giving them anything, at least not this time. What they did today was really absurd. During dinner, he suddenly jumped out of his seat and started boxing the gas mask hanging on the wall. He appeared to trade insults as well as blows with the inanimate object. Apparently, he had mistaken the mask for a bloody bloodthirsty stranger intent on stealing our cans although we were very impressed with his right hook and his eagerness to defend our family violence is really not the answer his style oh. <laughs> also the mask is completely destroyed ted really showed it who's boss wow now it's becoming difficult ted seems to be losing it either way we do something or this bunker will drive him completely insane how am i supposed to like do anything for him uh eat so timmy's just like gone and we can't send him whoever designed this fallout shelter was a genius but we can't really tell if that green stuff dripping from the pipe is an included feature we should probably try doing something about it with whatever we brought down here now let's cover the book again 
What dripping stuff though? I don't see it. A phone ringing? I had a phone. It's probably across the street. Ha! Problem solved. No leak, no mess. Back to our tidy little shelter. Where's water when Ted needs it? Ted seems to be losing it. Either we do something or the bunker will drive him completely. Is Ted getting worse and worse? Either we do something. Uh, this is probably coming to an end, but let's see. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop. Yet, here we are. We can barely, barely hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone booth on the other side of the street. Shoot, someone gone. Why not? Otherwise, he's just gonna, like, die in here. So, let's go. This guy is sick. This guy is tired. This guy is a loony. Day 53. I see a can of soup. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as the survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. Ted seems to be losing it. Either way, we do. Something goes this bottom line goes insane. Ted's getting worse. Either we do something about it or no, done for. All right, Ted, no more water. Guys, we're nearing the end. You know what? Let's click the backpack. What can happen at this point? There's a, there's a small muddy pond in the, in the park nearby. Too bad we forgot our fishing rod. Perhaps you could try to, to fish something out of the nasty water using this old suitcase. Why not? Let's see what happens. We've sent them packing. That's going to be today. What do we get? Can of soup? More can of soup, no water. We have to admit we were counting on some kind of fish to enrich our tomato diet, but this will have to do instead. Too bad the suitcase got ruined in the process. Losing it, worse or worse. Not much to do. We need to make a choice for today. No one can go. So basically we're just like sticking it out. Are we gonna get saved? Day 55 and he's the only one left. It's just, is this now just gonna, uh, gonna go on until he dies? What is this? Uh, what? Ted is really thirsty, losing it, sleep, uh, bad. I'm just gonna basically feed him until, uh, nothing happens anymore. We were able to catch the military broadcast again. This time they're asking us to get out with a flashlight. Uh, sounds like we'll, we'll be leaving soon. Can I hold out? Until there's a knock. At this point, I am willing to do anything. The signal has to wait besides the... So... Do they even know how much of a... Uh, Ted looks like he's uh, got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Losing it. Worse. There was a knock at the door. Isn't it going to say anything about that? Nope. Can't send him out. The agents visited us in the middle of the night to remind us about the request. Nope. Wow, this is going fast. The end! He died. Perhaps we can help them another day when we feel more up to the task. Ted's wounds were too serious to leave untreated. They became infected and took Ted's life. We didn't make it. These are our final words and our advice to anyone who reads this obscured writing. We spent 57 days in our shelter. Day one, all of us are okay, but not Mary. Yeah, I forgot to take Mary. My bad. Oh my God. Oh, Mary Jane. Alternative diet, the night who say. Day six, sleepless in Atomville. Fighting the tide, the lores did not come back. Oh, the eight is when I lost her. We can hear things. Made contact with the military. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Day 16. Unlikely survivor. Well, I'm not going to go through all of these. Missed the army plane. Wow. Is Ned safe? safe? <laughs> Feast for the beast household. Jeez, we survived 57 days. We missed the army plane. So if we had a flashlight, we could have been saved long time ago. So I need to remember that next time. Flashlight. And a lot more water bottles. But like food is food and so on. The book, the Boy Scout book was useless. Definitely the axe and the gun. 
and the mask, the radio, so many things. So first, I need to get people, right? Perished. Day 57. Okay, so next time in the next playthrough, we're definitely getting the people first. And I need to scout out. We now ended up with no one. Water consumed 10. Soup consumed 9. Yes decisions 5. No decisions 5. Successful expedition 7 out of 8. Items brought from expedition 11. Times defended your shelter. Not once. Wow. In the next playthrough, I'm gonna make a list. Basically, get all the people. That's the first thing. But that's gonna take like literally half the time. Then only supplies like a little bit of water, a little bit of... Um, cans of soup and then I'm gonna dart for the necessities or what is like first in front of me let me know down below in the comments what do you see if you had 60 seconds to get to grab stuff and get them to the shelter I don't know what I would grab I would want to say my computer but but in a shelter without any plugs without real electricity what will my computer be worth my phone will die I will definitely, I have vape, so I will definitely take my vape with. What would I take? What would you take? Let me know down below in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go!